Hi, my name is Milan. I'm six foot six tall. So everyone calls me Big Milan because Milan is actually quite a common Serbian name. I have uh, quite a wide range of hobbies, I suppose. And uh, photography was always sort of in the back of my mind. Ever since I was a child, my dad had uh, one of the old, I don't know what the brand was, but it was an old, um, oh, well, it was new at the time, a Russian film camera. So I remember that thing um, since I was probably two, three years old. I remember him using it. So I went through my whole life. I went through this, uh, a bunch of different stages where I'm, I was shooting with those just point and shoot film cameras, consumer ones, and uh, had a somewhat good um, point and shoot digital camera when they first sort of started becoming half decent in, uh, I think I got this one 2004, five. And then slowly upgraded until I, right now, I'm at the R5 stage of my photography. Canon R5, I just bought this camera recently, so I'm getting used to all the extra features it has over the 6D, which is what I had earlier. Now, introductions aside, I did two portrait photo shoots for a real estate agency over the last month. And I found pretty quickly that carrying all that gear around is uh, quite a nuisance. A lot of it I can put into a suitcase but then there's again things like tripods that just are too big for the damn thing. So you might be able to hear in the background my wife sewing. Uh, we both do enjoy sewing. Being six foot six as I am, you sort of uh, find it pretty hard to find pants. So I've made some of my own. Um, this time though, I decided it was uh, going to be pretty handy to have some bags for the tripods. So here is, here's me making the third one. All right, the red padding in the middle is uh, quite thick and, and soft, which will protect um, everything from the tripod actually. Well, and the tripod from other things. Here I am with my lower back exposed, um, drawing some patterns on the little diamond shapes because I want to sew the two layers of fabric together. Earlier I pinned them to each other so they don't move around. There we go. Now, as I said, I'm getting used to this new camera so the autofocus doesn't really know what to look for. I think later I adjusted it to be just manually focused onto, there we go, onto the needle. Oh, no, no, hmm. Well, in any case, uh, the autofocus is something I do need to play with, but I can see right now it's tracking my eye and uh, it looks like it will be a big improvement over the 6D. All right, just more sewing. I mean, here I really just don't want the two layers to be moving around because if this, the, the padding gets stuck to the tripod as I'm trying to pull it out, it will just be a whole mess and take too long. This piece will be the shoulder strap. So first off, I'm sewing it inside out. Now I'm not going to go through much detail here. I'm not really fit to be a sewing teacher of any sort. Oh, the reason I stopped there is because uh, I didn't pull the thread through the bobbin correctly and it kept jamming on me for all three bags and I only realized it near the end. So uh, yeah, there were a few bits like this where I'm tying knots and going back over areas. I chose the red and sort of black-ish color because that's the color of the tripod on on the, which this camera sits. It's got uh, carbon fiber legs, I suppose, and uh, red anodized, I think it's aluminum, aluminum uh, clamps and so forth. Now, 
the strap is inside out and it's very hard to turn the thing the right way out. So uh, I pull a power cable or audio cable through. I love my audio, as you can tell, all the records. So I have a bunch of those. Um, I pulled an audio cable through, sewed it in place, and then with quite considerable force, yanked it through. And uh, so what I'll do there now, now it's the right way out. I'm just going to put a line all the way through so that it stays the right shape and orientation for what I want it to be. <laughs> it's quite a cute little uh, sewing machine. I, I did do a fair bit of sewing as a child actually. My mum did, and uh, that's just one of the many hobbies I picked up along the way. <laughs> now, yeah, so what I've done there is what I do hope. Hmm. Oh, there's some buzzing there. Um, what I've done is I've sewn the bits around the edges, which, uh, as you can see, which will not have a zipper, so those are permanently shut. What I did forget to do is record putting the actual zipper in, but, you know, it's just more sewing, I suppose. Over here, I'm folding the outer lining over the padding so that the whole thing is closed off nicely and there's nothing to for the tripod to catch on to on the inside. It's basically just a big sheet of fabric folded in half. And there it is turned out the correct way. And you could see there for a second the pattern that I drew on with the with that washable texture. Um, the end of zippers as far as I'm aware must be finished off with uh, a sewing needle, which is quite tedious work. I don't mind it, but it's not my favorite part of sewing, certainly. I have also done some, uh, what's that called? Like when you make a picture with the thread, with the big thick thread, cross stitching. I made, uh, I think I made a little owl or something for my grandparents. There we go. That is, finished. Now, okay now as you can see that's a tripod. Actually this very one holding up the um, reflector for the lights. And at a quite leisurely pace it takes something like half a minute to pack away. I'm quite happy with that. During the photo shoots that I did for them, I had to do two separate trips from the car to the office as uh, carrying three of these tripods in your hands and a suitcase just doesn't work. So now I'll be able to just fling all three over a shoulder or two and carry the suitcase in the other hand. Next time I do some portraits. How is that. And as you can see, I'm quite a tall man. <laughs> there are some imperfections in that, in those lines, as, uh, as I said, I didn't put the bobbin in correctly. But functionally, it's good. Now I'll show you the three different ones that I've made. Thanks for watching. I will mainly not be uploading sewing videos, believe it or not. Uh, it will be about cameras. I've now used, well, I used the DSLR for about four years, the 6D, and I've just bought the R5. I am doing a bit of a career change now towards photography. I've been driving trucks for quite a long time, a little bit too long. So 
in the next foreseeable time, I plan to share what I've learned over the last four years. So stay tuned to see a bunch of that, some quirky techniques and uh, just general tips as well. I'll also have things pop up everywhere to follow me on Instagram to uh, check out some of the work that I've done. Feel free to leave comments and uh, as much as possible I'll be dedicating perhaps at the end of the video a little section to reading those and answering them. And uh, I hope to see you, or at least I hope that you see me next time. Thank you.